Uh, next, I'd like to put in some brick. Uh, we have designated this as a brick veneer, but as far as detail readability, we can add it as a component. If I'm going, I'm still in the annotate tab. Go under component, choose repeating detail, and in the repeating detail, I have some brick loaded. I'm going to pick edit type just so you can see. Uh, got the modular brick 10. Uh, there are many, many brick types in there. And these are found uh, in the component detail component portion of the library. Okay, so I'm happy with that one. I'm going to say OK. And to load that, that brick, now I need to have a starting point. And then you can see the brick, the further I drag my cursor, the more bricks show up. And I'm going to bring that down. I'm just going to draw past the component. Now I want you to notice something when I highlight that. Go into Edit Type. I am going to look at that brick. Now notice the spacing. You know uh, that it's three courses plus one joint equal 200 millimeter. That makes each brick 57 millimeters high and a 10 millimeter mortar joint. So that's why the spacing is set to 67. Now I had to edit that. It was a different number when I brought it in. So it was for a different size brick. So if you want it to work for a standard modular brick, you have some flexibility here to control things. It came in at 90 millimeters wide, but I had to adjust this spacing to one brick plus one course, which is 67 millimeters. And you can see if I, if I do edit that, if I change that number, just watch here, to uh, 87, for example, and say OK. You can see how the bricks got further apart. It's a modular brick, but the mortar joint changed. So I don't like that. I'm going to keep it the way it is. We're going to add some insulation now under the Annotate tab. I went from View to Annotate and uh, pick Insulation. And I'm going to put some insulation in here. And it's asking me for a width. Um, since I didn't change that steel stud up here, I'm going to leave it at 184. That was the size of the interior steel stud. And I'll pick my insulation along that grid. OK, so I fill that with bat insulation. Um, another thing I'd like to do is show you how to, how to mask out an area so that we can draw over top of it. For example, I have this big fat line here and this one I don't want uh, confusing things. So under the Annotate tab, go to Region and pick Mask Masking Region and I'm going to just simply draw a rectangle to take out this area. So I'm going to zoom in carefully to that. Oh, before I do that, I want, since I'm masking this area, I don't want it to show up as a visible line. So I choose Invisible Lines. That's not like a hidden line. A hidden line shows up as a dashed line. The Invisible Line allows you to create a boundary that will not show up. We can edit its exact size and position after we're done. So I'm going to take that down here and uh, cordon off the area I want. Say OK to that. And so now you can see that that has been blocked out. Uh, we'll deal with that later. You can s you can edit the size of this. Just click on it. And there we got the back of the insulation. So that's nice and clean. I'm going to do the same down here. Masking region rectangle and I'm going to put it I just want to cover this top line check okay so I'm happy with that um, now what I would like to do is uh, there's several things that have to happen in this detail one of them is we need a movement joint at the underside of this steel beam for the steel studs so when there's loading on this beam and it deflects it won't crush the studs what we're going to do is create a double track so that that can happen to do a double track we're simply going to draw in the in the detail mode so I go to detail line and I'm going to change my line to a medium line and I'm going to zoom in and put in an outer track so I'll start right here and it's going to attach itself to the underside of the beam and I'm bringing it down, it matches and this line I want to move just out a hair 
so it's in line with the gypsum board okay so that line is in place there and then I'm going to so that's an outer track for this thing to sit on then we're going to draw an inner track for the steel stud and that would start right here and I'm going to slightly offset it so that it's visible and line that up and I think I'll move that one in a bit there. there so now even with the line weights on uh, you can see that there's two tracks so that those two will uh, take care of each, uh, each other now the next thing I want to do, I'm going to move that up a bit so that line reads and this other area, I'm going to bring that in so that it reads, bring that into there it's too far and next uh, you can see the uh, back of the insulation and the air vapor barrier are running down an open gap uh, two things have to happen there. Um, one of them is that we need to put in a metal closure and so I'm going to extend this this masking up to there and draw in a separate line as a metal closure just so that it shows up. So I'm going to go detail line and I'll leave it on medium into the line and I'm just going to draw it down from here and put a metal closure on that and that covers the deck and again I'll just edit this there so we've got that looking like a metal closure for the end of the open uh, steel deck so that the AVB has something to sit on and the second thing we're going to do is a light gauge closure on this steel beam so again I'm, I'm in the detail line medium line type and I'm going to draw that it's going to come back and support the insulation and the AVB and it is tack welded to the steel beam there so now I've edited that detail it looks more as a completed detail um, and you can continue to add on to that and the last thing I'm going to do uh, show you here is how to add annotation and there's different ways of adding annotation um, I think the you can uh, review the uh, Autodesk tutorials on using tags uh, as a method of annotating. I'm going to go right to our regular method of putting in call-ups. I'm choosing text with a, a leader with an elbow and so for example I can point into here and I can say metal closure just click elsewhere and I can identify the double track uh, and so on we can add our notes and continue along that uh, direction and you'll have a completed detail